Welcome to another Form Titan video and in this video we'll talk about how to use submit button to create slash update multiple records. Alright, so what we'll do is first thing we'll do is we'll create an account, then we'll link a con uh, then we'll create a contact, then we'll link that contact to the account, and then the final one we'll do an update where we'll link that contact to the account as a primary contact. Alright, so we're doing a lot in this one. So First thing first, I'll get some text field. Okay, and this is gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll get some sections first, is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna duplicate this section, add this over here. And then I'll call this section account, this one contact. And then we'll go ahead and show label. And then we'll go in and show a label for this as well. All right, so let's move this up a bit, like this, like this, a bit more. And then I'll add a submit button underneath it. Be sure to set this as submit, okay? All right, so now we'll get some text fields. All right, first one is going to be called account name because that's my required field. This one is going to be called prospect rating. And just to save time, I'm going to give it a default value of hot. Then we'll get full name in here. And then we'll get an email field as well. And what I'll do is I'll actually, because there's a CSS set to it, I'll just get a text box and then use that as an email for now. And then we'll use this as email. All right, so the magic happens in the, in the push settings. So what we'll do is we'll go to Salesforce integration, create a push, we'll add an object, We'll choose account, we'll say this creates account, and then we'll go ahead and map fields. We'll say name equals account name, and then prospect rating equals prospect rating. Click apply, and then done. Now I'm gonna add a child. This is possible when you can use a submit button. You can add child, and you can have one to many, many to many, using a sim one single submit button, it's really powerful. Contact, we'll say creates contact. All right, and then we'll map fields. We'll say last name equals last name, first name equals first name, and then email equals email. All right, once you've done that, you can also see that because we clicked plus, it's auto automatically mapped the parent-child relationship and it's linked the account with the account ID. Really nice feature. And then finally, we'll do an update. All right, so we'll click uh, plus, we'll say account. And then th what this will do, this will add contact from 1.1 as primary contact. That's it, and then you do an update, and then you say account ID, equals hashtag account one account ID click apply and then you just map fields and then you look for your contact and there it is 1.1 contact ID it's all set in there all right so click apply click apply you can see look at that all these actions are going to get executed by one button so click save and let's preview we'll call this demo account 2019 and then we'll call this child demo child demo at form titan.com now if I go ahead and submit this you can ignore this one go ahead and finish 
it will go ahead and submit using the submit button directly into Salesforce. However, the way you can check it is in the integration logs. So if I go to the integration logs and give it a refresh, you can see, look at all of these actions that have just been executed by one button. All right, so look, creates, there's my account. All right, so there's my account. And you can now see that there's my child demo as the contact that's been added and here is my contact that's been linked to it so really, really nice feature and it works just as good with any mapping you can it, it's a really nice feature because you, you can hit multiple records in one go and for that you can use submit button you can add child parent relationship like this this and this really, really cool feature and it works super super nicely and this is how it's done